Hey guys, it's Billy. You know, ever since the election, people have been telling me I live in my little New York bubble. So I've decided to finally hit the road to see what America is really like and come here to LA. Yes, I'm here in Los Angeles where I just heard Calvin Harris tell a barista that he didn't understand a rival. And my guest today is one of my friends. I love him. I'm so glad I came all the way to LA just to be with him on the street. Please welcome an Emmy winner, a Tony winner, a soon-to-be Grammy host. He's the Ricky Gervais for the Rust Belt. Please welcome <laughs> James Corden. How are you, James? I'm very, very well. How are you? James, you are so wonderful and talented. Oh, thank you. For, thank you for being here. I, I, I've always wanted to. I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you. Carpool karaoke. You did it. Thank you. And, and where did that idea come from? Just, I don't know. You don't? The, the back of my mind. I think it came from God. Is where I think it came from. Maybe. Yes, yes, yes. So how has it been? You've had an amazing year. It's been a great year. We've had a lovely time. Thanks to lovely people like you coming to do stuff on our show. Oh, so I, I love doing things on your show. I got to sing, which I never do. Well, you're a very good singer. Oh, you know what? I am. All right, here we go, James. Now, James Corden, I'm so happy to have you on Billy on the Street here in Los Angeles. Yes. This is where they do the Golden Globes. It's, that is absolutely true. Yes. And the American Music Awards. All of them. Yes. And, and I love America. That's right. Nothing more American than the American Music Awards. Exactly. That's right. And I think if we actually do deport immigrants, we should leave Muslims here and just deport the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Don't you agree? Well, I, I don't know. This is not on brand for you. Let's get to the game. <laughs> okay, here we go, James. This is a game that I like to call artistic masterpiece or something that Justin Timberlake's music reminds me of. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to read you a name, James. A names of, uh, uh, the name is either of an artistic masterpiece, a classic work of art, or just something Justin Timberlake's music reminds me of. If you think it's an artistic masterpiece, you say artistic masterpiece. If you think it's something Justin Timberlake's music reminds me of, say Justin Timberlake's music. Are you ready? Yes. If you get enough right, you win a big prize. Okay. Okay, here we go. Artistic masterpiece or Justin Timberlake song? And oh, wait, we go. Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Jacques. Artistic masterpiece. Yes, correct. Getting a hand job at Armani Exchange. Justin Timberlake's music. Yes, correct. Madonna of the Long Neck. Artistic masterpiece. Yes, correct. A painful two on two basketball game with the Lonely Island. Justin Timberlake's music. Yes, correct. Garden of Earthly Delights. Artistic masterpiece. Yes, correct. Ellen DeGeneres twerking that ass and my Aunt Janet wailing from her couch in approval. Justin Timberlake's music. Uh, yes, correct. The Gates of Hell. Artistic masterpiece. Yes, correct. The Prom King interrupting a pep rally to beatbox. Justin Timberlake's music. Yes, correct. Irises. Artistic masterpiece. Yes, correct. A sassy kindergarten fashion show. Justin Timberlake's music. Yes, correct. Venus de Milo. Artistic masterpiece. Yes, correct. An underattended bar mitzvah with too many balloons. Justin Timberlake's music. Yes, correct. Like Fergie, but less street. Justin Timberlake's music. Yes, correct. Nighthawks. Artistic masterpiece. Yes, correct. The changing room at Men's Warehouse. Justin Timberlake's music. Yes, correct. Guernica. Artistic masterpiece. Uh, yes, correct. A Do the Right Thing musical sung by Kids Bop. Justin Timberlake's music. Yes, correct. You win, James Corden. You win. Let, let's see your prize. Oh, it's a huge picture of Amy Schumer holding up Jennifer Lawrence like Simba in The Lion King. Goodness, that's all I've ever wanted. Yes, look at this. It's a huge picture of Amy Schumer holding up Jennifer Lawrence just like Simba in The Lion King. I am, de I am actually going to put this on my wall. Thank you, James. James Corden, I love you. Congratulations. Hugs. Yes, you're the best. Okay. Oh, hey, good luck at the Grammys. Thanks very much. Yes. Send my love to Kendrick Lamar. Hmm? I will. All right, here we go. Thanks, James. Here we go. I'm saying goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> This is Billy on the street, and this is an odd day here on Billy on the street because I'm being protested against. There are people protesting against me and the show across the street. Stop stereotyping us! If a black guy ran up on the street asking about Diane Keaton, he would be shot. A hoodie and jeans? Stop appropriating Ellen Page! In the meantime, I'm gonna hit the streets and play my favorite game for a dollar. Let's go. Sir, between carpool karaoke and comedians and cars getting coffee, is it a wonderful time to be sitting in your car? Oh, it's fantastic. If I had a car, it'd be fantastic. You don't have one? No. Because you're a New Yorker. Exactly. You don't really need one. No, not at all. Yeah. Do you like comedians in cars getting coffee? I do. 
Yeah, which is your favorite webisode? Oh, man. I liked uh, the one with Chris Rock was good. Oh, he's very funny. Yeah. Did you see the one with Sarah Jessica Parker? No. Okay, and then there's the one with Steve Martin. Did not see that one. Amy Schumer. So, I like Amy Schumer. She's you like Amy Schumer. Yeah, what do you like about her? She's just funny. She just puts it all out there. and It really does. Yeah. yeah. Not holding back. No, not at all. Yeah. What other comedians do you like right now? That's a good question. I like you're funny. I like you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's a dollar. That's all you have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Who do you think's funnier, me or Amy Schumer? Be honest. Amy Schumer. But yeah, but you're lying to try to get me all worked up. Oh, I like Amy Schumer. Miss <laughs> dollar back, ass. Miss, did This Is Us raise the bar? Yes. This Is Us? Yes. Are you watching it? No, I'm not. I'm sorry. Oh, everyone else is. I'm sorry. You should check it out. I will. Okay. All right, I will watch it. Anything else you're watching? Uh, I am, what am I watching? I'm gonna start watching Luke Cage. Okay. And uh, Steven Universe. Ooh. Steven Universe? What's Steven Universe? It's a cartoon on Cartoon Network, actually. Oh, I'm not into animated shit. But it's really fun. And for adults? Actually, yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Because a lot of my adult friends, we watch it together. Okay, good. So, yeah. What's Steven Universe about? It's about this boy who is half mortal, half uh, immortal. Okay. And, uh, he is raised by these women who are crystal gems. Uh, no, goodbye. Sorry. Miss, for a dollar, can you describe Amy Adams in a nutshell? I don't even know who that is. Amy Adams, the actress, American Hustle, uh, so many movies. Doubt, uh, Arrival is the new one. Amy Adams. No, I don't know who she is. Amy Adams, she's been nominated for like five Oscars. But I don't know who she is. How is that possible? Because I don't. Who the, the little white ginger head skinny girl? Yes! Billy on the street. Hey guys, it's Billy. I'm here in New York City where Alicia Keys was born and where 35 years later she's still ready at any given moment to jam or chill. What's your name, miss? Brittany. Brittany, and where are you from? I'm from Harlem. Harlem, yeah, where Neil Patrick Harris now lives. Yeah, I guess. Yes, he does, Brittany, he does. Yes, he moved there with his, with his little twins. Twins? Yeah, he has two little children. Oh, wow. Him and his husband, David Burke. A husband? That's right, Neil Patrick Harris is gay. What? Oh, Neil Patrick Harris. Yes. Yay. Yes. He really is. I forgot about that. He really is. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah, he is. Definitely. And uh, what TV shows do you like, Brittany? Well, I like Ratchet TV. So I like... You like Ratchet TV? Yeah, Ratchet. So, like, like Love and Hip Hop? Yes, definitely. Things like that. Yep, I definitely do. Do you watch any, like, scripted shows that aren't Ratchet? Um, I watched new, um, broke, the Two Broke Girls. Two Broke Girls? Yeah. I think that's kind of like, like White Ratchet. Yeah, I guess. You know what I mean, Brittany? White Ratchet. It definitely... Not Nurse Ratchet. She was in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Remember that? I definitely do. Yes, we all remember One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest with Jack Nicholson. Wonderful performance. It really was. Yes. Did you like Jack Nicholson? Uh, not really. Okay. All right. Well, with the way he treated Angelica Houston, I don't blame you. <laughs> okay. And so, what else? You like Two Broke Girls with Kat Dennings? Yes. Right. And what else do you like? Any other sitcoms or comedies? Um, I like The Big Bang Theory. Oh, that's a good one. Bazinga, right? Yes, I definitely do. Do you know Jim Parsons? Uh, Sheldon on The Big Bang Theory. Sheldon, Sheldon, Sheldon. Yeah. Do you know that he follows me on Instagram? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> He follows you on Instagram. He does. Oh, okay. Did you watch The American Office? The Office. That was actually really a funny comedy. Very funny. Steve Carell, yeah. Steve Carell, yeah. yeah. And what, do you miss Jenna Fisher? No. Okay, Brittany, now it's time to play a game. Are you ready for this? Yes. Did you watch the show Empire by any chance? Yes. Okay, Brittany, this is a game that I like to call Taraji Jim Henson. Here's how it's going to work. You know Taraji P. Henson? Yes. Okay, great. She's the star of Empire. I'm going to read you a name, Brittany. Some of these are names of fictional musicians that are, that are seen on the show Empire. Right. And some of them are the names of obscure Muppets, some of the more obscure Muppets from the Muppets universe. Do you understand? Okay. Okay, here we go. Do you like the Impractical Jokers? How do you be like? That don't have nothing to do with Empire or Muppet. Good point, Brittany. Good point. Good point. Well said. She handled that one like a pro. Okay, here we go, Brittany. Empire or Muppet, if you get enough right, you win a big prize. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, Brittany. This is Taraji Jim Henson. And away we go. Mr. Poodle Pants. 
Muppet. Yes, correct. A Sky Summers. Oh, Empire. Yes, correct. Big Mean Carl. Um, Muppet. Yes, correct. Splurge. Muppet. Yes, correct. Beauregard. Um, Empire. No, Muppet. High five. Muppet. No, Empire. Foo foo. Muppet. Uh, yes, correct. Kid Fofo. Muppet. No, Empire. Frankie Fly. M um, Empire. Yes, correct. Camilla the Chicken. Um, Muppet. Yes, correct. Black Mythology. Oh, hell no. Mm, Empire. Yes, correct. Correct. Beaker. <laughs> um, Muppet. Yes, correct. Yolanda Rat. Empire. Uh, no, Muppet. Crazy Harry. Muppet. Yes, correct. Sweetums. Muppet. Yes, correct. Bunsen Honeydew. Muppet. Uh, yes, correct. Lil Cherry. Empire. Yes, correct. Last one, Droop. Um, Empire. No, Muppet, did she win? Yes, you win! You win, Brittany, you win! Yes! Ratchet life forever! Let's see your prize. You ready for this? Yes. Oh, my God, Brittany. Oh, it's a sculpture of one of the Olsen twins made out of cigarette butts. Oh, my goodness. It looks just like them. Yes, look, it's made out of cigarette butts, Brittany. Hi, but I get to have it? Yes, you keep this. Me? Yes, you take this back to Harlem. No, I don't think I want it. Yes, you'd have to. Yes, take it. Okay. Yes, you have to take okay. it. There you go. Yes, I love it. You have to love it. It's yours now, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. Would you like to see the Olsen twins come back to Fuller House? Yes. Okay, I would too. And finally, anything you'd like to say to John Stamos? Look in the camera. John Stamos? Is that the uncle? Or yes! <gasps> I love you! Yes, we all do! I love you! Yes! We love you, John Stamos! <laughs> Yes, what would you do to John Stamos if you could, if he was here? Kidnap him? We were gonna, we're gonna kidnap John Stamos, that's right. That's right, what about Bob Saget? Uh, I guess we could just leave him. Yep, we're gonna leave Bob Saget. All right, Brittany, thank you so much. That's Brittany, everyone. That's Taraji Jim Henson, and again, please just ignore what's happening across the street. Like a white male needs a microphone to be heard. Sir and miss are gender turn. He's not from the street, he was raised up in middle class. We're not going to let them ruin our day, are we, Brittany? We're definitely not. No, we're not. We'll be right back. Hey, guys, it's Billy. I am out here in Los Angeles today, and I came all the way here to shoot with the one and only James Corden. James Corden has had a massive success with carpool karaoke, so I'm out here today trying to find my own version of carpool karaoke, something that can go viral and be like a late-night musical comedy sketch the whole family can enjoy. And my version's called Curbside Conga Line. Are you ready, James? So ready. Let's do it! Sir, will you join our conga line, please, James Corden? Please, 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 please join, join our conga, conga line. line, please. Will you join that conga please, line? Please, it's late night. Miss, miss, will you join our curbside conga line with James Corden? <laughs> please, please. Conga line? Yes, yeah, conga line, yes, let's go. Let's go, go. let's go, here we go. We're conga-ing now. We're conga -ing. sir, please join our conga line. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm please join the damn conga line. Please, get in here, let in here. We need a conga line. Miss, will you join our conga line, please? I'm, I'm late for work, sorry. I'm working, too. Yes, I'm trying to appeal to the masses. Miss, do you like carpool karaoke? <laughs> yes, I do. James Corden? Oh, my God! Yes! Yes, what, oh my God. yes, what about my new show, White People Holding Maracas? Oh, my God! Yes. Would you watch this? <laughs> I don't know. Well, if, he, if he's on there... What about me? Sir, do you like carpool karaoke? Yeah. Yes, James Corden? I know, yeah, hey. Yes, would you, would you watch my new show, Sharing a Salad with Tandy Newton? Uh, sure. Yes, thank you! <laughs> sir, sir, what, sir, what about Comedian Sit in Silence with Chrissy Teen? Yes. Sir, sir, please join our conga line, please. Well, I know you! Yes, of course! Yeah, perfect! Go, Good, go, he knows go, you. Go, go, go! go. Ole, 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 ole! That's right, I want that lip sync battle money! So will you jump on? You're crossing the road. Please, Please Congo. Yeah, hey, I know you. Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, he sits yeah, in that yeah, goddamn car and sings there, songs with Chewbacca yeah, Mom. Let's hips. go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's no phones. Ole, 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 ole. Curbside Congo line. Everybody loves me. Curbside Congo line. Middle America loves me. It doesn't have to be good. It just has to autoplay on Facebook. Please, ole, ole, yes. You'll share this with your dumb relatives, won't you? Yes, keep conging. Please, I need ratings. Please, conga, conga faster. That he's not good at conga. Wait, maybe it's too sophisticated. What about celebrity tickle time? Would you let us tickle you? No, no, no. 
Yes, I'm gonna tickle you. I'm gonna tickle everyone. <laughs> Sir, what about what about celebrity tickle time? Will you tickle James Corden? Yeah. Tickle him. Yeah. your grandma to watch my video. Sir, do you like carpool karaoke? Yeah. What about Deadpool karaoke? Oh my God. It's my show. Camp Town Races, sing this song. Do da, do da. See you at the Emmys. Billy on the street. Billy on the street. Hey guys, it's Billy, and I am here in front of a dog park where I just saw more ass licking than at the AFI tribute to John Williams. And we have an amazing contestant here today. Yes, this is a very big day here on Billy on the Street. He is not only the breakout star of the Fox hit show Gotham, he is also my closest friend for over 20 years. Please welcome the one and only Robin Lord Taylor. How are you, Robin? Very well, Billy. Okay, this is very weird. Very, very weird. It's, right, calm down. It's a full circle moment. It's very full circle. Robin and I used to have a live show that we used to do in New York many years ago where the Billy on the Street video started, and then I did a TV show and left him in the dust. But... He got the last laugh because he's on a show. People actually watch. You are on Gotham. Yes. You play the penguin. I do, yeah, yes. yes. You are the breakout star. Uh, I don't know about that. Well, that's true. That's what everyone says. I am telling you, if you haven't seen Gotham, let me tell you something. That makes two of us. But I hear he's fantastic, and I'm supportive in my own way. Yes, of course, yeah. Okay, so how's Gotham going? It's going very well. I mean, yeah, I, 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 lots of heartbreak and, and murder and all those. Okay, great. Let's get back to me and our friendship. For those of you that don't believe us, I have, I brought in a photo here. This is a photo. There we are. That's me and Robin in college. And hey, Mandy Moore, this is us. Okay, there we go. That's me and Robin in college. Well, that's fine. Okay, Robin, now it's time to play a game, a game that I like to call, can you separate the art from the artist? You know, it's always terribly disappointing when we find out when some of our most beloved artists and entertainers have been accused of or even have actually done some really terrible things. And after you find out, is it still possible to enjoy their work? Can you still listen to R. Kelly's music even if you find out he slept with underage girls? Can you still watch Mark Wahlberg movies even if you find out that he was once accused of attempted murder? And should Viola Davis still win an Oscar even if we find out that she's been terrorizing a small town which brings us to this game robin a game called can you separate the art from the artist this is a small obstacle course of sorts we're gonna go one by one we have different representations of various beloved entertainers and we are gonna have to see if you can actually pry their work from their infamous hands so we can maybe still enjoy their work before time runs out are you ready i'm ready okay here we go robin can you separate the art from the artist and away we Go, let's go! Okay, Robin, first obstacle, look at Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf has been arrested six times for everything from public intoxication to refusing to leave a Walgreens. And who can blame him? So tear off this paper bag he once wore on the red carpet. Tear it off, tear it off, yes. And find the DVD of his movie, Wall Street 2, Money Never Sleeps, that's in his beard. Okay, it's right in there. It's in there. I have to do everything. Here, I oh, found it, oh. there. I do everything! Go, next obstacle! Hey, hey, hey! No, it's not Fat Albert, it's a legally blind rapist! Okay, here we go, here we go. We all know Bill Cosby has been accused of raping literally dozens of women, but, you know, we all have fond childhood memories of The Cosby Show. So go through this chunky Bill Cosby cable knit sweater and find the DVD of The Cosby Show. Find the DVD and try to restore the up-until-now pristine legacy of Raven Simone. Yes, here we go! Yes, you got it! You got it, yes! Next obstacle! Oh, look, it's comedians and cars getting coffee! Yes, yes, oh, hello, Newman, and hello, other N-words you're not supposed to say, like Michael Richards, who played Kramer, did that time. Okay, so here we go. You're gonna put on those goggles and those gloves, Robin, and you're gonna take that mic stand from the Laugh Factory. You're gonna use it to bash into the car window and pull out Jerry Seinfeld so we can keep him. Yes, go, go, go. Yes, 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 now pull out Jerry Seinfeld. Pull out Jerry Seinfeld. Yes, yes, and speaking of quoting people, now's as good a time as any to mention that my work was recently described as no holds barred by USA Today. Hey. Yes, just leave him there. Okay. Jessica will come get him. Final obstacle. Oh, it's oh, Mel Gibson. Oh yes, and he's been crucified, Robin. Yes, we all know Mel Gibson made anti-Semitic comments. Climb up to the top of the cross and remove from his hand, remove from his hand the DVD that's been nailed to his hand of his hit film, What Women Want. Yes, yes you got it. That's what women want. Oh, and look, look, it's tickets to Hacksaw Ridge. Yes, 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 yes. There you go, Robin. Yes, you did it. You did it, Robin. Yes. Yes, let me get up there. Oh, oh let's both get up there. Yes, here we are. Oh, look at this. 
Oh, there we go. Only on Billy on the street. Congratulations, Robin. Thank you so much, Billy. Yes, we are up on top of a crucifix. <laughs> yeah. Yep, here we go. That's Mel Gibson. You got your What Women Want DVD. I always get confused between Helen Hunt and Stigmata. Yes, and you have your tickets to the critically acclaimed Hacksaw Ridge. Let's see your prize. Okay. Oh, oh, if you're excited about Lego Batman, get ready for Lego Manchester by the Sea. Yes, there you go. Take this, Robin. Yeah. Yes, if you're excited for Lego Batman, get ready for Lego Manchester by the Sea. There you go. Oh, Casey Affleck joins the ranks of giants, says Time Out. Well, not now, because he's played by a Lego. <laughs> yes, there you go, Robin. That's my best friend, Robin Lord Taylor. Yeah. Can you separate the art from the artist? Am I on your will? <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> <sighs> What? I have your storage unit key, though. Oh, that's something. <laughs> okay, thank you, Robin Laura Taylor. We'll be right back. Billy on the street, 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 street. Hey, guys, it's Billy. You know, life is too short for you to watch every segment of Billy on the Street. So here's a look at some of my favorite moments that you may have missed. Check it out. Hey, guys, it's Billy. I'm here in Madison Square Park, where I recently told a girlfriend I was repeating unhealthy relationship patterns with my mom with her. What's her name, miss? Hildy. Hildy, I love that name. Thank you. Where are you, are you from New York? I'm from New York now, yes. Oh, okay, great. Uh, but originally? California. So you live in New York now? Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. And what do you do for work? What was that? Give a shout out to Brooklyn. I actually live in Brooklyn. Oh, oh Hildy's giving a shout out to Brooklyn like she's friggin' Usher. <laughs> yeah, well. What a laugh. Now, what do you do for work? Uh, I advise people on their charitable giving. Wow. Um, Such an interesting job. I recently wrote a personal check to The Rock just because that man's working his ass off. Yes, but he's not a charitable institution. Uh, excuse me, speak for yourself. Yes, he is. Did you see San Andreas? <laughs> anyway, Hildy, how many kids do you have? Two. And what do they do? One's an artist and one's a chef. Okay, so you're basically supporting both of them. Well, that's what I thought. Yes, all right, Hildy. This is a game I like to call, is this a porn category or not? Here's how it works. Do you watch porn? No. You have, though. You can be honest. You're a woman. You're a grown woman. I I'm a grown woman, but that's my answer. Okay, that's your answer on TV. Right. Okay, you love it, though. Hildy! Here's how it goes, Hildy. I'm going to read you the name of a, what could be a porn category. If you think it's the name of an actual porn category on this website, you say yes. If you don't think it's the name of a porn category, you say no. Some of them are real, some of them are not, but all the answers are, are factual. Do you understand? Sure. Okay, Hildy, here we go. Is this a porn category or not? And away we go, teen. No. And yes, it is, a threesome. Yes. Yes, it is, stained shirt. Yes. No, it's not. Oh, you're disgusting, cross-eyed. Uh, yes. No, it's not a porn category. No. Oh, okay. Unbelievable, toilet. No. No, correct, Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Yes, unfortunately. Oh, Hildy, I like your style, gluten intolerance. No. No, correct, Grandpa. Uh, yes. Yes, correct, worn down shoes. No. No, correct, dog. No. No, correct, Hildy! Oh, ready but scared. No. No, correct, double penetration. Yes. Yes, correct, Vermont. No. No, correct, small tits. Yes. Yes, correct, huge face. <laughs> no. No, correct, Tracy takes on. Yes. No, it wasn't, that's Tracy Ullman. She played a billion different characters on HBO in the 90s. Babysitter. Yes. Yes, correct, big ass, Hildy. Yes. Yes, correct, John Cusack is one of the Beach Boys. Uh, no. No, correct, did you win? Yes, you win, Hildy! Yes, you win, you win. Is this a porn category or not? Let's see your prize. Oh, it's a doll of Megan Trainor contemplating her next move. There we are. It's a doll of Megan Trainor contemplating what her next move should be career-wise. Well, there, I hope she came up with a good answer. Well, I hope so, too. We're all on the edge of our seat. Oh, good. All right. Yes. All right, and this is actually going to be somewhere shown somewhere? Yes, what do you think? I, I walk around and do this for free? Yeah, no, I would assume you don't. I hope you get paid a lot of money. No, I do. Thank you very much. And you know who I'm going to donate it to? Dwayne The Rock Johnson! I don't care what your suggestions are. Okay, well, Amphar can suck it. I'm giving all my money to The Rock. <laughs> Thank you, Hildy. Thanks for playing as the porn category or not. Any last words? Um, no, but I wish you all well. Thank you for including me. Okay, you have been included. Thank you very okay, much. Thank you. He's making dreams come true.